Hey everyone, once bitten here. So I call this In Search of My Tournament List Part 2. So I tried out a different list. This is one I've actually never quite done before, but it's just a variation on a theme. Um, I, I specifically asked a, a Lizardman player who was running a Slawn list if we could play, because, I, because I'm very Magic Light in this list, and I wanted to see how it would hold up against a Magic Heavy army. So uh, we, had, we rolled the Dawn Attack scenario. Starting on my far left, he's got a Salamander, two blocks of of uh, Source Warriors with Spears. If you see weird models in there, he's just, he's just using unit fillers. So if you see a cold one or whatever, that's, in, in this case, not a character. Uh, and one of those units, of course, was a Skink Priest. Then he's got his Temple Guard, Do Temple Guard Death Star. And, of course, has the Slon. Uh, but now he has two characters in there, a hero level and a, a uh, lord level character. So that unit, I mean, not only are they stubborn, and, and, and all the goodies they normally have, they have two tough characters in there. Um, now one of them, the Old Blood, is, a, is he's using a model on foot, and it turns out that that one was actually, he's uh, riding a cold one. So later on in the game, you're going to notice that, that he, he replaces the model to make it <laughs> as if he's on a cold one. Uh, anyway, and then on the right, there's another unit of Source, Warriors of Spears, and then another Salamander. So again, this is a dawn attack scenario, so I normally would not choose to put my battle standard bearer on the right flank. But uh, here he is with my horde of gore. He, of course, has the beast banner. And other than that, he's just, he relies on toughness 5 to stay alive. Now, what, what, one thing that's making this game interesting is that that piece of terrain in the middle of the table is impassable. So to have a, just a small chunk of impassable terrain in the middle of the table can be nice, and they can guard a flank, and it can be make life difficult. Um, because it makes it tough to, to get to the middle of the table where the fighting is. Anyway, then I've got my unit of Minotaurs with my Doom Bull with my standard build. That's a one-up rerollable re armor save. Every um, every armor save he makes gives him an extra attack. He's got the other Trickster Shard and the Always Strikes First Sword. You should notice that my Minotaur um, unit is smaller than I normally do it. That's because the tournament has a cap, a points cap per unit, so I can't fit in any more Minotaurs in that. And, of course, my fear with the Minotaurs is the unit needs to be big enough to absorb w wounds because these guys can get revved up and get a lot of attacks, but they're inevitably always going to take a lot of wounds. And so I don't want to get to seven attacks each and have one guy left. Anyway, then I've got a unit of Bestigors with the standard of discipline. And I did th with that standard, they have the same leadership that the Doom Bull conveys, and so it allows me to put them anywhere along the table and they can stand on their own. Uh, again, this is Dawn Attack, so that's the reason they're actually near my general. Got two units of Harpies, a Tuscor Chariot, there's a level 2 Shaman. He was supposed to go in the Bestigor unit, but when I was putting characters in units before rolling for Dawn Attack, I forgot to put him in. And at the end, I just felt like I'd be cheesy, you know, retroactively putting him in a unit. So I just put him near the unit. And then, of course, he puts his scouting skink, chameleon skinks down so he can shoot at my character. Yeah, that was just... I mean, it was whatever. It was just dumb. I also have a unit of uh, gore and with a character that's uh, ambushing, so uh, I'll talk more about that later. Anyway, so he, after a shooting, he only does one wound on the level 2 Shaman. I think he kills a best gore too, uh, because I have a 4-up lookout sir roll. The other unit decided just to shoot at the, uh, the Chariot, because the Chariot was giving a plus 2 cover save to the Shaman. And we go to Beastman turn 1. So I didn't know at the time that you couldn't put a character in with uh, an ambushing unit. So, I mean, I've, I never play the ambushing rules. I think they're just horrible. Uh, the way they are in the book are, is okay, but the way they are in the Beastman book is just awful, I think. But regardless, um, not understanding the rules, I put a war gore with a brass cleaver and black and plate. So this unit has a has a four-up ward against flaming attacks. So I thought it was funny. He had a salamander there. and <laughs> I'm like, yeah, bring it. What are you going to do? Uh, I charged both his chameleon skin units, and uh, he didn't flee, which I thought was... Uh, interesting. Had he fled, that might have been tough, because actually I might have caught him, and then I would have had my best gore unit way out in front, uh, easily countercharged by a couple of his units. So, uh, very, very happy that, that he didn't flee. Yeah, there's a tough score chariot getting revenge on this unit. And my best gores. And when all said and done, there's only one chameleon skink left. He'll take snake eyes to rally, so I just reform my chariot. Uh, Bestigors make short work of the other one, and again, they they don't overrun. I just just reform because <clears throat> I don't want him countercharging with multiple units. And we go to Lizardman turn two, so he he decides not to charge. 
he just does as you can see it. Now during my magic phase, he, 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 during his magic phase, he has so many dice. He's rolling high for his wins of magic, and he gets the plus one die per cast. The one thing I'm doing is really, from, for the most part, if he does a remains in place spell, like Throne of Vines or Shield of Thorns, I'm letting it through, and then on my magic phase, I'm dispelling it. And it's just, it's the most I can hope for, just trying to, to save dice for other things. I think in this case, I had to stop Dwellers Below. Um, you know, I am willing to stop Throne of Vines if he still has six dice left that he's going to throw at a spell. But other than that, like if he only has three or four dice left, I'm, I'm letting Throne of Vines through. Anyway, just explaining some of the things going on. Uh, over in the left, I thought it was interesting. He took a Salamander and just going to shoot at my unit that has the ward save against flaming attacks. And this one, <laughs> this is scaring me because that's that's a big old unit that's going to get a lot of a lot of hits on it. So all in all, it looks like that. Now, one thing I was looking at here is my unit of gore with the BSB. If you measure nearest to nearest is is only 11 inches away from that unit of, of Saurus. So I only need to roll a 6 and then I can move straight ahead, wheel, and get into their flank. And I won't be able to get total maximized models, but I'll get enough. And I think, especially if I take the, the Minotaurs in the front, we can overrun and the Minotaurs will hit the front of the Temple Guard unit and the Horde of Gore will hit the flank of his Temple Guard unit. So I'm thinking I think he just made a huge, huge mistake because that's that's just juicy. <laughs> it's very exciting. So over here, thank goodness, he rolls for his uh, his his uh, attack, and he he uh, misfires, eats all the skinks, takes a monster reaction test, and now he's stupid for the rest of the game, which is just great because his leadership isn't very good. And over here, the salamander spits on my gore. Because I have a four, up, I have a high toughness and four up ward save. I take one wound, but then I have to take a damn panic test and I fail it. I, <laughs> yeah. So we go to Beastman turn two, and this was killer. The stupid damn uh, horde of gore with my battle standard bearer needed a six to get into the flank of that that lizardman unit, and they rolled less than that. So not only are they not in the fight, not only are they not going to win the game for me now, because they had to go directly towards the unit, now it's going to be tough for them to get around that piece of impassable terrain. The, uh, the Doom Bull unit made it in there very, very nicely. I didn't even charge with the Bestigors because, one, it was unlikely they'd make it, and if they did make it, um, there's too good of a chance we're going to be countercharged on his turn. Yeah, that just, oh, that just made me sick. So I use both Harpy units uh, kind of as a speed bump. So any, any unit wants to charge, if he charges with the Temple Guard, I'm going to take it no matter what. So the Temple Guard cannot counter charge my Minotaurs. Uh, if he, you know, otherwise, if I'm not worried about that, if my Minotaurs are able to reform, or if I'm not worried about his Temple Guard charging my Minotaurs, then I can flee with both units. It'll be tough for him to catch either one of them. So here on the left, my Gore unit decided to rally. And that was the best thing about having a character with him, is they were... Leadership 8, so with a Musician 9 on my Rally test. And of course it's a moot point because it's illegal. So so this this was crazy. I actually thought that my Minotaurs would go in there and win combat, but that the, the Lizardmen would, would be steadfast. I want you to look at how many Lizardmen are left after that round of attacks. <laughs> these, these guys were absolutely insane. I mean, they're base 3, extra hand weapons 4, they start off with Frenzy, that's 5 attacks each. So that's 15 regular attacks on the front line, 9, that's 24 attacks. And then you have the Doom Bull. They tore that thing up. They had to pursue, but the problem is, with their pursuit, now my Harpies are not actually blocking the Temple Guard, because the Temple Guard can wheel slightly and touch my Doom Bull, and then I've got to close the door to him. And that's... That's just awful. That was the big thing about charging with the Minotaurs and with the with the uh, Horde of Gore, is then we would have to pursue um, the Horde of Gore when they pursued would go into the Temple Guard. And so then, you know, if the Minotaurs had to overrun, they'd, they wouldn't be hurting anything. They, they wouldn't get countercharged. And in all honesty, even with the Horde, I didn't think I would kill every dang <laughs> source warrior there was. 
<laughs> I thought I'd beat him in combat, and then and then both of us would pursue into the Temple Guard. So anyway, obviously I'm still upset about the way that worked out. Because we go to his turn, and his Temple Guard charged my Minotaurs. And at that point, when his Source Warriors charged my Harpies, I just fled, because why stay at that point? Yeah, his uh, Salamander failed a stupidity test and just stumbled forward, which I thought was nice. Middle of the table looks like that. Yeah, this just just making me sick. I think this is uh, after the magic phase, maybe, because I know he has thrown a vines up, and I just couldn't justify the dice. I need to get. I, I needed to stop the toughness buff. Over here, he charges me, and again, because I have a character, that unit holds up pretty well. Without the character, not so much. So I'm, I'm really appreciating the value of having a few cheap characters in my uh, gore units. Otherwise, on the left, he moves a salamander to shoot at my chariot. Oh, okay. This is after after the magic phase when the throne of or the shield of thorns uh, does some wounds to me. Uh, after combat here, I think I actually win that, uh, but it's pretty close, and otherwise, it's just going to be a grind. And yeah, I'm not even sure what's going on there. So after combat, oh, yeah, well, there you have it. So we got we got in a challenge with his old blood on the cold one against my doom bull. And it just got confusing. It was probably my fault. But basically, we were getting confused between the old blood and the um, the other hero level character. And so like whenever I had to roll against something, I was rolling against the better stat based on the two characters. <laughs> so I was rolling against toughness six. I mean, it was just weird, whatever. But basically, my doom bull was only able to do one wound on his guy which I thought was absolutely crazy. I don't I think he might have even got a wound on my my doom bull, I'm not sure. And then, you know, my my minotaurs did okay, but um, you know, he just beat him through combat res and ran him down. So the only thing I've going for me now is well, at least my bestigors can charge in there. Now he has a toughness plus 2 toughness buff that I I was saving my dice to dispel and wasn't able to dispel it. So when my when my bestigors go in there, his guys are still going to be toughness 6, but I'm strength 6 and so you know, it might be okay. So we do that. I move my chariot up to block his Saurus warriors. My best score is going the flank of his his Death Star. And then when all said and done, you can, you, you know, flip back and forth between those pictures and count it up. I kill next to nothing of his. Now part of the problem was he brought his characters over and they were very tough to wound. Uh, I did next to no damage. He won combat, I think. I mean, it was... It was just crazy. He killed a ton of my guys. Yeah. So I can't take my most elite unit with a flank charge and even win combat. Um, over here, I'm winning the grind, uh, thanks in large part to my character. His, <laughs> his salamander fails a stupidity test again, which is actually getting humorous. Uh, he charges my chariot. I had to have the chariot there to protect him from countercharging the bestigors. And overall, it looks like that. The um, yeah, the 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 horde couldn't charge anything because that piece of impassable terrain was in their way. So all I, they could really do was, I think they did they wheeled around or maybe they reformed and then stepped up, whatever it was. And yeah, this time he just chopped up my best bestigors and overran, and so now my uh, my horde isn't even in position to help out with anything. And so this Temple Guard unit is taking out my units one at a time. He made a Doom Bull Minotaur mini Death Star. They just slapped around. Then they made Bestigore unit. Yeah. Here on the left, my Gore with the champ with the uh, hero level beat and ran down his unit of Saurus. And so they're they're poised for a rear charge on his uh, second unit of Saurus warriors. Oh yeah, if you look at the. Um, at my character. My character was with the Bestigors. He killed the Bestigors to a man. Just killed them all. So overall it looks like that. You can see I charge on the left. On the right, my, my horde with my BSBs just trying to get in any kind of position to get into the fight. Uh, those blink uh, bases stand for warriors. I mean, there are people, there are models there. So I think I win combat, but he's steadfast, of course, and so he just reforms over here during my phase, because of the overrun, he was in a uh, he had charged my harpies, easily killed them, so he reformed to face my horde. 
On his turn, he charges my horde. His salamander fails stupidity test again. <laughs> Uh, the other Salamander kill, takes a remaining wound off of my level 2, and his Temple Guard unit slaps around my horde with the Beast Banner. So, yeah, what a miserable, miserable outcome to the game. Um, I, I, I really, I mean, I wish I could go back in time to that one thing where my, my horde failed its, its uh, relatively short charge, and I, that would have changed so many things in this game, but um, allowing a, this Temple Guard Death Star to take my units on one at a time, I just couldn't hold up to it. There's nothing I had that could hold up to that, uh, with the possible exception of the Minotaurs. But I think by the time we ground each other down, those Minotaurs would have been all dead. Um, but I need my Doom Bull to do better. I mean, he, you know, he's he's there to to put wounds on things. For him only to to put wound one wound is a fail. I mean, he just I, he can't do that. He's too many points. Uh, I was very unhappy with my level of magic defense, I just couldn't stop anything. Anything he wanted to cast. I mean, look at, if you look at those symbols in the back of the Temple Guard unit, those all stand for different spells that are in effect. I mean, he's got a toughness buff, shield of thorns, throne of vines. You know, I just couldn't stop anything. I also couldn't participate in the shooting phase or really the magic phase because all I had was level two. So I felt like it was such a one-dimensional army that, you know, th there's nothing I can do to have a shooting phase, really. Um, so I'm thinking, after this game, I tweaked my list to get a little bit more of a magic phase, just to see if I liked it better. So anyway, that was it for uh, In Search My Tournament List Part 2. Very unhappy with how this list turned out, um, but we'll see how it goes next time.